We present our work on single image depth estimation from defocus blur models and how to make them camera independent. As we can see from this image, the green plant that's close to the camera appears very sharp. And as we move away from the camera, the scene gets blurrier and blurrier. And uh, this blurriness is, it turns out that this blurriness is related to the distance um, of an object from the camera. And we, we um, utilize this uh, relationship uh, phenomenon to measure, estimate depth of various objects that's in front of the camera. And we call this effect defocus blur and um, it generates as follows. Assume there's a lens that's shown in gray and an image plane, um, a black rectangle and a point P1. And if this point P1 is perfectly focused, the image of point P1 appears as a point on the image plane. If we move this point P1 away from the camera to a new location, P2, and we do not change anything else in the camera setup, the image of this uh, new point P2 appears not as uh, a point, but as a blurred disk on the image plane. The intensity inside this disk behaves according to a um, 2D Gaussian distribution uh, with a standard deviation of sigma. The value of sigma varies with the distance to the point S2 uh, according to this graph. The actual relationship depends on a parameter called K cam which embeds many different camera related parameters such as focal length, pixel width and uh, the aperture diameter and also other um, camera related parameters. To learn more about this relationship please read our paper. And the gist of this relationship can be represented with the equation on the right hand side. Uh, the S1 represents the focal distance which is the distance that the camera is focused at and as we can see from this relationship the relationship between the um, S2 and the blur depends on the camera parameter K cam. <coughs> this camera parameter depends on the camera we use so it's camera dependent and we need to first estimate this camera dependent constant that's constant for a given camera in order to um, use this in our model so the model can get rid of the effects, uh, the camera dependent effects of the image to estimate the depth uh, from defocus blur. And so if we have a trained model uh, from images taken from uh, a camera and uh, we need to use this, the same model, to estimate depth from other cameras. <coughs> so if we need to do this, we need to um, we present a novel solution um, that can estimate the, the camera parameter, which we call defocus blur calibration. So in order to do this, we first fix the focal distance of the camera at S1. S1 can be any value, but in our experiments in the paper, we use S1 equals 2 meters. And then we calibrate the camera with a circular um, asymmetrical pattern uh, in a traditional sense. And then we place our asymmetrical calibration pattern 
in front of the camera at a distance of S1 and take a photo. Because the camera is focused at S1 distance, the photo looks photo will look very sharp. And then we change the distance of the calibration pattern to a different distance from S1. And because this is different this new distance is different from S1, the the image of the calibration pattern will be blurred. And we can estimate the um, the standard deviation of the um, the blur of these uh, circles from using the method we describe in the paper. And with this um, estimated the blur estimated, we can calculate or estimate the um, k cam value for the given camera. For further details, you can um, refer our paper. Now we have estimated the KCAM um, value for a given camera and how to use this in our depth estimation model. <coughs> we start with the blurred image and we send that, that blurred image into a blur estimation model which is a CNN based model. It gives us the sigma value and to remove the camera dependentness, dependentness of the sigma value, we divide it with the estimated k cam value to get the quantity absolute value of S1 minus S2 divided by S2, which does not depend on um, the k cam. And we input this uh, into our depth estimation model, which is again a CNN based model to get the depth image. Um, so this depth image represents the depth at each pixels. And then we created a defocus blurred dataset uh, using the NYU depth version 2 dataset. We basically begin with NYU depth version 2 dataset and create copies of it but each copy is blurred, defocus blurred with different k cam values. And we conduct experiments on these um, data sets. And we also blur images of asymmetric circular pattern, calibration pattern, and try to estimate the k cam value of different cameras. And this graph represents the actual k cam value versus the estimated k cam value as can be expected um, the relationship is quite linear and we can reliably estimate the k cam value using our defocus blur calibration method and this graph shows the the depth estimation errors on the NYU depth version 2 blurred data set and um, we train our we have trained our uh, models on um, data sets with k cam values 8.79 and 35.61 and we evaluated our models on the data sets created using k cam values of 12.69 <coughs> and 22.67. The rows with no KCAM value means we do not use the correction uh, based on KCAM. And uh, ground truth KCAM means we just use the known KCAM value and est or estimated KCAM means we use the estimated KCAM values and um, the, the difference between the ground truth and estimated KCAM values, the, the errors are not very significant, but if we do not make the correction, the errors, go, errors are higher than when we make the correction. And then we explore the sensitivity of our model to different KCAM values. As we can see, if we de deviate the used KCAM value, 
um, from the actual value, the error increases. And finally, we obtain an image of an object and uh, try to get the, the depth image. And the actual KCAM value of this camera was 22.67. And we can see that if the, the KCAM value we used deviates from the actual KCAM value, the results get more and more unreliable. With that, uh, we like to conclude our talk and thank you very much for uh, paying your attention.